Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Super Carlin Gaming Super Smash Brothers Saturday morning showdown. Hope you're enjoying your breakfast of crispy cereal. Crispy cereal? Yeah, crispy cereal. Crispy cereal has one function, and that is to be made into puppy chow and or trash. What do they call it? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like the powdered sugar coated chocolate. Yeah. Muddy yeah, Buddies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the other name Muddy for buddies. it? Muddy Buddies. That's a good one. We call it got... Reindeer Chow. Reindeer Chow. Everybody Why? has Why a they different call name. call it Puppy Chow or Trash. Yeah, definitely call it Puppy Chow. We used to do a Puppy Chow fundraiser when I was in college. I feel like Puppy Chow is a terrible name for it. I don't for remember it. that. Because it, it just is. sounds like dog food. It yeah. does sound like reindeer dog food. Why chow. would you Come call on. it that? Yeah, Reindeer Chow is at least a little bit more festive, I reckon. Since reindeer is it are... supposed to be festive? Well, yeah. a lot of people do like yeah, party like Christmas, mixes. Christmas yeah, I oh. yeah, I would say I would say holiday time of year. Oh, we did it all the time. Yeah, yeah year round, year round. Yeah, it's I, delicious. there's no wrong time oh, to yeah. have. I had some this summer. Chocolate crisp crisp picks or whatever. Oh, I can't stress it enough. I love me some uh, some poppers chow. It's okay. We're we're it's cool. Aside I'm from Ben and Jay, bad. we're all just bad. Oh, yeah. I'm also it's bad. I'm Aside bad. from Jay, we're yeah, I won one round last time. That's true. I'll have you know. Hey. Riley is really good. And I'm I forgot gonna... which character Riley's I did. Riley's better than I am. Figure that out. I'm just gonna go ahead and blame this on Joy-Con drift. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and for those of you who I guess maybe tuning into this on a Monday, uh, we do these shows weekly uh, on our Patreon page, Patreon.com/SuperCarlinGaming. Uh, but I believe. Jay needs some time in his Nuzlocke to do even more grinding. How is grinding going? Well, let me tell you, I've made a ginormous breakthrough today in that I have procured what is known in, in the world of Pokemon as the Lucky Egg, which gives you double experience. Whoa! Yes, it is tremendously useful. Um, it was not easy to get. It took some, it took some doing. But it's been worth it. But well, it, it, that was the last thing I did before I sat down to do this. So this, it's like one of those weird time commitments where it's like this will take me 20 minutes to do procure, but it will save me like three hours. But in exactly. the meantime, I'm I'm making no progress on the actual goal. Well, the good news is that to get a lucky egg, you have to you have to get it from like Chansey or or a Blissey, and uh, even even if you don't end up even if you just knock them out though, and you don't end up getting the lucky egg, like you fail to catch them or something. Uh, they they are like experienced cows, uh, in their own right. So I was at least getting some leveling done. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Um, so w while we are chatting on things uh, like that, uh, what do you love most about your job? This is a question from Science Steph. The Moderator over in our Discord server, and I feel like playing video games on the job is a pretty yeah, it's a big pretty, pretty good, good way to do it. Good. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, one of the, of course, there's like tons of advantages with YouTube, in that you know we can like set a lot of our own schedule. We can really focus on like having a work-life balance, which you know I think is often easier said than done in most jobs. Like, yeah, people want it, but you know sometimes it's you know it's not their fault if their bosses. Don't uh, you know? <laughs> don't agree. Make, don't, don't agree, don't or think there's that. more work that needs to be done, yes. or and if you care about your job, and hopefully you do, um, then you probably care about that work getting done too. And you know, it's uh, it's not that you don't care about your work life or your home life, just that they're both important to you, and it can be difficult. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I feel like there is a shift that's been happening. So, like, I feel like for a very long period of time, your identity has been very directly tied to your job. It's like, yeah. it's like, like very quickly, if you were at like a, like a party, be like, how long would it take you before you ask the question, what do you do? Right. You, and were, it, you used to live to work. Right. Rather and it's, than work to live. Right. And, and people might be like, oh, yeah, like my, my friend, they're a lawyer. And it's like, instead of being like, oh, my friend who competes in Ironman, you know, competitions or something. Like, right. Um, so I, I, I feel like that shift is happening. I feel like there's a lot of notice being taken to how European countries handle yeah. ideas like a sabbatical, uh, like where you may take time off specifically just to enjoy yourself. Um, how dare you do that? I know, I know. <laughs> Enjoyment? What Very, is this? Not a super American idea. Right, but it is it is something we are trying to implement here at SCB. So, like, uh, starting next year, the week of July fourth, um, we will we will be off and not, like not like be ahead so we can take time off. We will not upload that week, um, and that means the team gets a week off from work that is not part of their vacation time, and it's just like a way 
for everybody to come back and have like a clear head uh, when we are in office. See, because we're not going to have work that week, I'm like tempted to go somewhere, but I also know that Ben throws fabulous 4th of July parties. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can totally do. Hope, yeah, hopefully that'll be totally yeah, like agreeable again. Right. With your eight month old. I know, yeah, I know, right. that's true. No, I, I have to tell you that Allie and I are like bound and determined to find a way uh, to to maintain some level of semblance of our life. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, you will. With, yeah, with with no What's up, small baby? You want to play some yard games? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about lawn darts? <laughs> Totally safe, Wonder, totally the safe. Most dangerous game. Right. If your yeah. child can't play cornhole by next Fourth of July, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Oh no, I'm I'm not concerned about that at all. By the, it, by the way, we haven't addressed that uh, Ethan is joining us. Oh yeah, today. Oh, yeah. Ethan's here today as well. Hi, Ethan. Hello. In case anybody doesn't know who Ethan is, he edits Whoa. the pop, uh, both the video and the audio for us. Yeah. And uh, him and our younger brother Tyler have a fantastic podcast called Bacon and Eggs. It's a movie lovers podcast where they review different movies each week. Yeah, very you. fun. Very it's fun. a lot of fun. It's a good time. It's we good are time. actually currently taking a sabbatical right now. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Yeah. I was gone last week, and Tyler's gone next week. So we just said, you know what? We've done this for four years. We're just gonna take a couple weeks. <laughs> we've, yeah. hey, we've earned, earned it. it. Yeah. Like, it's like it's that it's thing of like, because I know that when when we like don't upload a Nuzlocke or anything, there's always comments that are like, oh, I'm so disappointed, you know, so disappointed. But I understand, and like that is like weirdly, it's both like gratifying and uh, heartwarming that people are so devoted to expecting content from from their favorite pe people. I feel like people are at least starting to, to well. yeah, like, there's like a, a shift occurring where people, like, understand the burnout yeah. side of YouTube. Yes, yeah, yeah I, think, I think that YouTube has been around long enough that there has probably been enough cycles of, of people maybe that you've watched in your career where you've been able to see them, like, start from like you know humble beginnings maybe gain that following and then also maybe reach that point where they're like this takes a lot out of you you know yeah and i think for the most part people have also stopped making those like not really not entirely stopped but have stopped making those like guys i'm just burnt out can't make a video this week but i'm making a video this week to tell you i can't make a video this yeah. week right. Right. Out yeah. videos so i think that the less that that kind of occurs the more people are just like yeah just take time it's fine right right and that's the thing too is that if there, if there is the pause, it usually seems like there really isn't ever any actual. Oh! Actual. Oh, that was close. That was it close. was close. It was close. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's animosity towards the creator, but usually excitement upon the return. Yeah. And so I yeah. feel like it honestly, in the scheme of things, like people people who are who are super tuned in tend to not be. Um, they they tend to be understanding in all the right ways. Agreed. Absolutely. Eggs. Sorry. We need an A from you there. Oh, yep. Sorry about that. You good, bro? Sorry about that. I just wanted to let you watch my fifth place. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. I wanted to make sure everybody really got eyeballs on it. But yeah, so we're taking two weeks from the podcast. Um, we've missed three total, I think, ever weeks so far. That's honestly amazing. That's impressive. You guys have been at yeah. it for three, four years. Yeah. And we're doing. I mean, we're just re-releasing all the episodes. Um, Okay, that's interesting. We've, we fully just not... There's only been two weeks where we didn't upload. Ever. Got it, um, got it. And the first time, it was for an unavoidable, you know, family incident, and people were still like... You know, we, we had some animosity. It just, it's, it's a weird thing in podcasts where people are like, um, it's pretty unacceptable, guys, and we're like... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's, that is the type of thing where, where we'll I... <laughs> I could I could absolutely look at that situation and be like I, I think I can I can continue on without your yeah. support. <laughs> I'll be right. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All that running there? for joy cons and they're dead. Oh, they're dead. <sighs> oh, no. oh no. So dumb. For the people who can't see what we're doing, Jordan just ran uh, ran, ran a all couple around of blocks trying to get, to get a joy con and then it turns out it was dead. Oh, and her brother Jay was also playing as a link. <laughs> Were you looking at the wrong link? I'm looking at the wrong link. Oh no. Um, uh, speaking of what I presume was podcasts and maybe a, a movie lovers podcast specifically. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite movie to cheer you up when you're stressed? Oh, oh boy. Good you know, man, this is a good question. I would say for the longest time, this wasn't really a movie for me. It was probably just the show Friends. Well, I think that's oh, an yeah. acceptable answer. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh. 
which is very, very, like, familiar. I can't even tell you how many times I've watched Friends all the way through from season 1 to season 10. It's a lot uh, throughout the years. That was, like, the first thing, like, I used to, like, binge before binge, binging TV was really a thing. Right. Yeah, I remember you in your bedroom in our, like, childhood home watching Friends, like, the on DVD. <laughs> yeah. Um... So yeah, you you were, that was I had Scrubs and you had Friends. I feel like oh, I sort love of Scrubs a, too. Yeah, I love Scrubs. Yeah. Um, I would say for me the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. Really? The Gene Wilder version? version. Oh, God, God no. The Gene Sorry. Wilder I, version. I detest the Tim Burton version. I don't. I don't it. It, it upsets me. Like it, it genuinely upsets me. How you feel a little about this uh, Timothy Chalamet? Chal- 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 I like Chalamet. I like Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. Chalamet. Uh, he I is. Like him. I'm excited about Dan. But I don't. I don't see him like Gene Wilder. I just. I don't know, man. You just, you just can't replace him. To me. That's no, absolutely. Know. The. Hey, the set pictures look good though. That's all they I'm do saying. look good. Yeah. I, I, I have. Yeah, you know, I have hopes about it. I don't. Need the movie, but I will probably see it. So. I, I don't. I don't need it, but they will no. get me. The problem they is will make it. spend the money. The yeah. problem with making a movie podcast is that uh, the last thing I want to do when I'm stressed is watch a movie. It's oh a yeah, it's yeah. Like that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's kind of that's not sad. Isn't it? I've never been much of a comfort movie guy, though. Like I, I usually I'm not a big, big, big movie rewatcher. Really? Um, I rewatch television shows. Like I've probably only ever seen like. You know, ten or fifteen shows all the way through, but I've seen really? all of them at least more than once. Uh, yeah, that I'm much more likely to rewatch an episode oh. of TV than like a whole movie. Yeah, same. The other day I was, um, and by the other day I mean like a few months ago, I was stressed <laughs> because my dog got sick for the first time that I had him, and it was just like it was very stressful. And I came home and I watched the Prince episode of New Girl, and I felt a lot better. Ralph, oh, did you light yourself oh. up with your own bomb? Like one of my favorites. Me? Yeah. I don't know what just happened. Maybe. Maybe. It's cool. I wasted my final life by down being myself off oh. the map. Yeah, so. me too. Me too. We good. So, we Gucci. We out here. That's okay. Everything's fine. We Gucci. Yeah. Yeah. Or like any Disney movie, honestly, is usually my like. If I'm like, I just need to kind of watch something good and happy, I'll watch. A Disney movie or a Pixar movie or something like that. I'll probably go for like Pixar Remember the Titans. Pixar is pretty good. Or yeah. Miracle. Like Wally, oh, Wally is usually one of my go-to Disney movies. I Wally, 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 yeah. Whoa, that was weird. I love Wally. Uh, another fun thing to watch when you're stressed is Great British Baking Show. Oh or ba- yeah. Great oh, British Bake yeah. Off because everybody's just so nice. It, it's really it, there is something magical about that show that that people are not like they are competing like it's a competition show but like. They they support each other in in a capacity and like you know they yeah. want to see each other succeed. Yeah, that's that is nice to see. That's nice to see in life and in TV. I have a feeling yeah. that once I'm done with it, my rewatch thing will be Ted Lasso because yeah. it's just so oh so positive, so uplifting, so yeah, good. wholesome. What fun! But you you are just now watching it for, for the, the first, first time. time. I'm done with season one. Okay, okay. So, but so I'm I'm so glad, Ethan, because I do feel like I have talked to you about watching it. Well, for some time. It's like the moment you suggested it to me, I got into it, but I just wasn't in the right like mental space to be rewatch or to be watching a TV show by myself at that point. I was like, I just had other things to do, right? Sure, sure, I've, sure. You know, been trying to read a bunch of books and uh, all that garbage. You, you've been succeeding at reading a bunch of books. Yeah, I have been succeeding at reading a bunch of books. I'm th- still losing the competition, but I am succeeding. Mm-hmm. Goodness, um, how many books have you read this year? 141. 141. Wow. Yeah, which is I, I'm way behind on my goal though. How can you be losing with 140? What's your goal? Votes? 200. Whew. So I've wow. only got I've only got two and a half months left to get that last. Goodness, uh, it feels in. possible. It definitely feels possible, but it's if I get nine more done in October, then I have to do 25 a month for the last two months. So I that's, don't. That's a lot. I think I've. I don't even know if I've read four books this year. To be honest. I have not read four books this year. I, I have read, read Name of the four. Wind four times. Yeah, I've read, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've read yeah, at least Name of the Wind. I, I read, oh no! Oh, I read Name of Whoa. the Wind and Wise Man's Fear. I'm, I'm reading, reading Name of the Wind books. right now. Those were those were both on that one or one forty one this year. So that is impressive. That because I would count those as like five books. They're, I'll finish they're a lot. Yeah, I'll finish probably one forty two and one forty three tonight. So you're reading multiple books at once. Yes, that seems like the only way you could possibly. Yeah, so the first the first 70 or 60, first 60, I, I did straight audiobook. Just back to back to back to back to back to back yeah. to back 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 to
Uh, and it's so I had, thing. I had to, to you know, Take I had two reading. books going at the same time, and then I got a Kindle, and now I have three books going at the same time. So it's all about different media. For Seems me. like a lot to keep track of. Yeah, that's me. so many. Well, and I, and I have, like, there's a bunch of paper books that I'm, like, in the middle of and just put down for whatever reason. We'll pick back up. But, right, I, I usually have one paper book that I'm reading, one ebook that I'm reading, and one audio book that I'm listening to. Wow. Man, so that I'll, is... I will finish an audio book and an ebook tonight. That is impressive. Uh, which will That's be uh, Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone on audiobook and uh, Fight Club on... Oh! oh interesting. Cool. Very different. On... Very different. Very <laughs> different. Audiobook. The first rule about the, source, the Chamber of Secrets <laughs> is you, you don't, don't talk, talk about, about the Chamber <laughs> of Secrets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, and then my my all three times. paper book is uh, Eclipse plus Steffi Meyer. No. Uh, have you have you read them before this year? No. Okay. This is my first Twilight experience. I saw the first movie for the first time two weeks ago. And you, was that on Bacon and Eggs? Yes. Yes, it was. You can go get your hard hitting hot takes. On I yeah. Twilight. <laughs> we had some interesting takes for sure. Uh, I, I really thought I was going to hate the movies. I really did. I was fully prepared to, like, talk crap about them the entire time, and, and I just couldn't. Oh, really? Say what you will about Twilight, but they have some banging soundtracks. Oh, yeah. Oh, The yeah. soundtracks are phenomenal. I knew that going out. Oh, God, I'm so bad at Smash today. I knew that going in. I was very excited for the soundtrack. But, yeah, I, I no! un- unironically <laughs> love the first two Twilight movies. Yeah. I, um, I think on this week's Uh-oh. episode of... Who's this at? just happened. Uh, it's uh, you, it's, Ethan. It's oh. Ethan, yeah. Just go select. What? Weird. I'm... Did it die? I don't know. It's just like the left one is not <laughs> weird. It's not responding anymore. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. More... Oh! I, I oh! set it down and it was like, nope. Wow. Someone's playing as the ever-favorite trash monkey. Mm. The ever-favorite... I'm, I'm actually no. uh, impressed that Jay is not in the final two, but I did see Incineroar self-destruct oh, very early like, on in I, the game. I don't know what I just that did. I that did. Cool. I think I also Ooh. at oh. least was was wrecking people off the stage, so I think I got a bunch of KOs even if I didn't get to the finals here. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I just I went with three cell phones this time. <laughs> what? Three cell phones. And S- some 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 s words. I definitely th- thought you said Uh-oh. cell phones. I thought all that too. I thought you said cell phones. Self as well. Self s e s e l f. Oh, the whole time. I was like, viewers at home, Ethan has three cell phones. He's texting. I'm like three books. I'm on three cell. I got three cell phones. Oh man, Riles with seven. I had six though. Look at that. I am actually surprised. I I would love somebody to go back and check the tape because I actually thought that I was wrecking people and I had one. You must have been like just smashing them. But then they're... But not killing them. That was weird. Not, I was not yeah. scrolling. I don't know why I was doing that. Send them flying. Um, no, but Ethan, go back to your dying. Twilight conversation. Uh, this week on The Pop, we talked a little bit about this era of time called that we're living in I called like, Poptimism. What is happening? Yeah, my, mine's not working either. Jordan, do you want the sticks, by the way? Would you like to... Sh- sure, if we can figure oh, out what's going on. Oh, is everyone going random except me? No, no we, we, we no, got two we... CPUs in here right now. Oh, okay. I see. Uh... Hey, that worked. There we go. Okay, so this is number four now. Yeah, yeah, that's number four now. Okay, here, can 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 I play? How do I get this back in? Uh, the fifth hit board? the two top bumpers. Ah, ha ha. Here you go, cat. Oh, I can set this one out. Okay. Good. Um, another fun question that we had is: Do you consider Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween or a Christmas movie? Halloween. I'm gonna respectfully Halloween. decline the content comment. <laughs> I, I think I think it's Halloween. Yeah. I think I think it's a movie that celebrates Halloween. It I, fails to celebrate Christmas. Exactly. Yep. I don't like, think when you see on uh, you know Freeform's Thirty One Days of Christmas, they're not playing the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I think the real thing that makes it they definitely are. They definitely are not. They're playing Harry Potter. Harry Potter is not a Christmas movie, um, but they do. That's because also... Sorcerer's Stone I and bet, Chamber of Secrets are both Christmas yes. movies. I bet if you turn favorite. on Freeform right now, I bet it's playing Harry Potter. Well, it's it's October. What? what so that doesn't yeah, matter. Probably. Uh, right, is Harry Potter a Halloween movie? I feel like Harry Potter sure. would be more of a Halloween movie than a Christmas movie. Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is both a Halloween and a Christmas movie. 
Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is exclusively a Christmas movie. The rest of them are neither. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so you're saying Prisoner of Azkaban isn't a Halloween movie, even though like all of the important things happen on Halloween? Werewolf. Yeah, well, yeah, I think you could get away with uh, Prisoner of Azkaban in October. They got, I like, think the you can get away with any of them in October. You can get away with any of them whenever. Yeah. I, th I think Prisoner exactly of Azkaban can oh, stuff it. <laughs> Just not your, not your jam. Chamber of Secrets. That's how I best. feel about Nightmare Before Christmas. Chamber of Secrets, I think, I is the best. That's my favorite. I think, yeah, I think that's my favorite too. I, I just like the, you know, the, the, I think the it's last. Pretty obvious. All the many, the last uh, five, are great, are good movies, but they just, they just don't have the wonder for me. The wonder, I like the wonder. Oh, I, yeah. I don't like how, how dark they felt the need to take the yeah. movies. It's like, I feel like I have thought that the Harry Potter movies were in, in need of a remake, like while they were still coming out. Yeah, like it's, yeah. Like, it's like we're we're due for like the proper I, version. I don't know. See, the older I get, the more I really like the David Yates ones. Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Did he do four to. Seven? He did five to eight. Okay. Yeah, and then four he's done the Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts. Beasts. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like the first Fantastic Beast movie a lot. No, I like the first Fantastic Beast movie yeah, a lot. Fantastic Beasts. I think good. the first one is really good. It was the best uh, theater experience I had since like probably three. Ooh. Out oh, of the Harry, oh, Potter Harry Potter movies. movies. Yeah. Not, not end of not sentence. Overall. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's an interesting take. Yeah, yeah. End of sentence was Force Awakens for sure. Yes. Uh, yes. That was that was a theater experience. Thank you. I yeah. cannot. Because well, I I didn't see a yeah. single trailer. I had no idea what the movie was about. I was just like, new Star Wars movie. I'm not gonna watch it. I knew yeah. I knew the name Kylo Ren, and that was it. Uh, yeah. My I would say Endgame was yeah. Endgame was experience. Great oh, I mean that was a me yeah really great theater going just because of all the little payoffs that like yeah. people were cheering cheering yeah like, screaming. active cheering. screaming i don't i don't think i could get over the fact that it was time travel the first time i watched it that's, fa that's I was, fair i was still pretty upset about that this is gonna upset everyone i saw endgame in theaters without seeing any of the avengers movies wow. i went with that's a few in, people I, that, that, that was the case yeah and they had friends who wanted to go and they were like yeah. I, I think it's interesting that that is the first time you've had friends who wanted to go see yeah I, yeah like it was a great theater experience, but I think that that was sort of like where my total infatuation for Avengers Endgame kind of ended. Like, I would not list it in my top ten Marvel movies. I by see, any means. I, I put, would. I put Infinity War higher than Endgame. I liked Infinity War better because I love Thor, like Thor's whole thing where he goes and like uh, gets Stormbreaker and mm. I don't know, they're just so convoluted. Like. Oh, they're absolutely convoluted, but I mean, you. being able to have that many characters have that, like, well-executed arcs, like, I'm not saying that it's it's the world's greatest way to make a movie, but I think that they did it as well as you are capable of doing it. Yeah. Uh, would be where I would land on the execution of that many different narratives, all having, like, meaningful and important, like, roles in the story. So far, I'm preferring Phase 4. To the Infinity Saga. What? There's only been like two movies and three TV shows. Oh. Yeah, the TV shows have been pretty good. Yeah, and the movies are fantastic. I will. I will. Well, wait. What movies have we had? We've had Black, 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 Black Widow and Shang Chi. Shang Chi okay. was good. I like Shang Chi. Was good. Black Widow. I, I Black felt Widow. like Black Sorry. Widow was. Uh, uh, oh, that I, was a great boom. smash. I, I'm not here for Black Widow slander. I love Black Widow. Okay. I did too. I mean, I'm not slandering. It just wasn't like definitely not my top. 10 Marvel I would put it in top 10 over it was, uh, either Infinity War or Endgame for sure. Oh, oh it was entertaining, man. man. I don't. No way. Yeah, I don't know. It's just they're very, they're very messy to me. Yeah, to each their own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole point of all this stuff is that it's like, and I think the the key objective of this channel is not let's disagree about how we like things, but agree about how we like things. Yeah, right, that's we why. We all I, agree though that uh, that Chris Pratt would have never existed had it not been for Kurt Russell. Which is ironic because he plays his father in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Wait, I, wait. I'm gonna need more of an origin. Yeah, story. I need more context. Okay. I, I will, I will make a make a, a a essay about this. Chris Pratt plays a very certain kind of snark and like he plays a very certain kind of humor that isn't as common as people may think. Um, and I think it was thanks to Kurt Russell. Specifically, Kurt Russell in the '80s, um, because he like he toes that line of like like uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Kurt Russell's playing an American guy in Chinatown who's like completely incompetent, 
but he's like the hero of the movie, but he's like not supposed to be in the movie. He's like kind of like the framing of it. So like Chris Pratt movie. plays that like he thinks he's like really he's like he thinks he's the hero of the movie, but he's like kind of an incompetent. Oh, I get an incompetent Star Lord. I mean Star Lord. Yeah, the character yeah. Of Star I mean Wars. that's that's all that's kind of how like Andy Dwyer is too. Yeah, like he thinks he's way better than he is at least at the beginning. Of the See, show. and and this is what I didn't like about um, either Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two or Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is that they eventually stopped writing characters for Chris Pratt and were just like we're just gonna let Chris Pratt Chris Pratt around for two hours. Yeah, well, but, that, that's, that's always Russell been part, part of Jurassic Park though. Like, look at look at what's his name. Yeah, but he's Malcolm. he's Malcolm. very good at that. Um, he is very good. I, and I don't, I don't think Chris Pratt is bad at that. I just don't think they gave him enough writing in uh, Fallen Kingdom or Guardians Two. But I really liked where they went within in. The end of the Infinity Saga. I'm actually looking forward to the third Guardians movie. Quite a As Guardians of the <laughs> As Galaxy, Guardians. or the Guardians um, Christmas Special, or whatever they're calling it. Oh yeah. This thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody else Hawkeye excited for Christmas, Hawkeye, the Christmas yes. TV series? Oh, yeah. I'm so pumped. So. I'm, I'm casually up after, uh, cautiously optimistic. I cautiously love, optimistic. I, love I am like, I'm, I'm, po I'm so positive it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I will be really sad if it's not, but I I have way too much enthusiasm to think that it won't be. Yeah. Hawkeye is low-key my favorite Avenger. Yeah, he's like one of my least favorites, so like that's why I'm kind of really cautiously excited. optimistic because the shows have been so good so that's far. That's fair. That like I'm just I'm just assuming it's going to be good. I'm sure it'll be. Yeah. Fine, at least. Cuz like they sold me on Falcon Winter Soldier and I it, didn't expect oh! to. Yeah. Not a Bucky Barnes fan. Really? Oh, I love Bucky. I, I love Sam Wilson enough that it didn't even matter how I felt about Bucky Barnes. Oh, see, I, I never liked Sam. I have really unpopular MCU takes, I've, if you haven't noticed yet. No, yeah, it's okay. On, out of the, uh, out of Sam, the like, I love Bucky. aside from the obviously bad ones, like The Incredible Hulk, uh, Winter Soldier is my least favorite um, MCU movie. Okay. Yeah, uh, Thor 2? Also, I said outside of the obvious. Okay. <laughs> at, at least there's that. Iron Man 2, yeah. Thor of the Dark World. Where do, you, where do you fall on Iron Man 3? Love Iron Man 3. All right. Uh, unpopular opinion, I did not like Guardians 2. I, I did not think Guardians think 2 was as good as Guardians. I liked Mantis. I thought that she was it, a fun character. I like Guardians 2. I like, it's so I much it. like about just like the very personal relationships between the characters. Oh, yeah, I, I, I did not like it the last time I watched it. I feel like I'm going to like it the next time I watch it. Yeah, I and sometimes I, I have difficulties with that. Like I didn't like Ragnarok the first time I watched like watched it, and now it's like total top five for me. And I I love Ragnarok. And I don't I don't know why I didn't like it the first time. I think I just felt like they like went so heavy handed with the humor. But like Jeff Goldblum is just oh, I love so him. funny. That's what heroes yeah. do. See, I, and that's that's why I like Ragnarok so much is because it felt like it was the real between that and the and the first Guardians. It was a real like sort of rebirth for the MCU, like an important yeah. turning point where they were like, oh, these are supposed to and can be fun. Yeah, they don't have to be so serious. They, I think it was like. I think Taika Waititi has thanked James Gunn for allowing yeah. that type of like environment to exist, basically. Because before Guardians came out, the MCU was getting so dark. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't need a dour. Like, and that's why <laughs> I really. Film. That's why I think I really liked Black Widow and, and Shang Chi. I think that Maybe the uh, should tell, uh, DC that. the writing just feels so different that I'm really enjoying where we're going with Phase Four across the shows and the movies. Pivoting away from this entirely to a more upbeat question to maybe start our, our last game on. Okay. If yeah. you were stranded on a deserted island, what dessert would you bring with you and why? Uh, the dessert of the dessert. dessert. Oh. The dessert of the dessert. Is there anything to be said for the possibility that the dessert is like limitless because like because you're bring, bringing it? Or is this just like... Yeah, let's say that it's an infinite dessert. Because I was going to say, otherwise it's basically just like, what would you want your no, last meal to be? Because if it's unlimited, then you can min-max the question, right? You can try to figure out what's going to get you the the most... Protein. Yeah, the most yeah, protein yeah, and yeah, nutrients. And like, nobody wants to be that. Peanut guy. butter pie. What is it? Like, navel <laughs> tests... Volume naval test sounds volume five or whatever that has the high frequency SOS and that's like the only desert island 
Desert Island album you should take. Yeah, the the, the people. Uh, this is why I don't like Deserted Island questions. Nine KOs, by the way. Dang. Wow. Totally. Is that people always try and like game the problem of being on the island? And it's like, that's not what you're really yeah. asking. Well, yeah, it's what like, you're really asking is, yeah. like, if, fight me, these are my favorites. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. what, what, what's the dessert? If you could only eat one dessert for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ben and Jerry's half-baked ice cream. But, okay, great. Okay. Great okay. answer. I'm going to go creme brulee. Ooh, creme brulee? Wow. Yeah. Man, interesting. Yeah. You want to know why? Because why? You, can, you can really get, like, a nice torch on the surface and then break it and then use it as a knife to hunt with. Yeah, oh, and you can use the torch for fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need the torch. You see what I did there? Like, you, did the, you went back to the I, island. I went back to the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, brownie a la mode. Ooh, man, just, just, there you go. Just brown, oh, man. Mm, nice, nice, nice. I'm just going to say, like, uh, it's definitely some kind of ice cream. That's, that's I would at least take Jordan's uh, tack because then at least you have both brownie and yeah, ice right, cream. Yeah, no, yeah. That's why I went with yeah. Ben and Jerry's half bake because it has brownie and cookie dough in yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All, yeah, in, all in the can. Yeah. That it does. Well played, everyone. Brian well, said a, a peanut butter pie earlier. It made me think of this place in Asheville called Baked. That's just a pie shop. And they do Ooh. have an incredible peanut butter pie. I do. So lo- I, I do like, genuinely love. Peanut I really love peanut butter, butter pie. Protein, so if that's the only so, thing I'm eating, I might be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think I'm going specifically with half baked or a, with baked the restaurants. There's yeah. a great place in Washington D.C. called the Pie Shop, uh, which sells pies. Believe it or not. Oh, um, really? Wow. I, the, I'm yeah. shocked. I assumed uh, they would they sell, sell pizza. They sell both like sweet dessert pies and like savory dinner pies mm. yeah and Ooh. it's just fantastic there is All a right. place in richmond called proper pie funny enough even guess what they sell pizza pies do they they sell what? pies yeah uh, i did not even see that coming I, at all i, I just okay. okay well twist do we have a pie shop in room? Uh, no. Right, oh no! The, I, we we have the a there was like um, the pink, piety at the Towers, yeah, okay, but I think I it's just, gone now. Go Ironically, I think it was I think it was a pie shop that was replaced by a pizza shop. Well, oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, is that yeah. Bobby's now? Bobby's. Yeah, I think it's the same people who own it. They're just like they're just into pie. Good old, I guess. Good old Robert's Hot and Queso. I do love Robert's Hot and Cheesy. I, I love Bobby's Hot and Cheesy because it is the worst name for that place ever. Because like, if you oh. tell me you're going to go to a, Bobby, uh, a pizza shop called Bobby's Hot and Cheesy. I'm uh, assuming that it's terrible. I'm, I'm assuming it's your local off-brand Little Caesars. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just the opposite of that. It's, it's so, so good. good. What are they, what are Every time I come here, somebody talks to this office. Somebody talks about Bobby's Hot and Cheesy. And it's like, you brought it up this time. It's the best. I didn't bring it up. Oh, it sounded like you did. No. <laughs> Somebody else <laughs> talked about the pie shop that used to be there. It sounded like you did. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, so ice climbers are not not my jam. Speaking of Richmond, there's a bookstore in Richmond called Chop Suey Books. Oh, yeah. That used to be a Chop Suey restaurant like 20 years ago, and it's been Chop Suey Books for the last 10 what years. What is Chop it Suey? Just, it's a food. I, yeah. Well, I guess I'm a fami- I know it's a food. What? I, oh, I what couldn't is- tell you. Maybe okay. they just didn't want to change the I know the it's sign? a system of a down song. No, he literally was just like, people know it is a Chop Suey restaurant, we're going to call it Chop Suey Books. It, the, the place it's in in Richmond is very much like, Harry yeah, it's very yeah. much that kind of area. It I, sounds like, like, but now they're selling it. It sounds like, like, shark chum or something. Yeah. Well, if you want to buy Chop Suey Books in Richmond, you can buy it. It's on sale right now. It comes with a bookstore, entire inventory, an Instagram, and Facebook account, and a cat. And a cat. And a cat. Pausing I mean, this whole cat, pie yeah. conversation for just a moment, I think the um wait emoji that we were all picturing earlier is actually something that kirby turns into i think it will be kirby's next down b <laughs> oh my gosh you're okay. absolutely or maybe the one correct. after that one more oh don't kill me before i can down b <laughs> no nope. oh uh, you skipped that one. Box oh god an emoji oh boy for kirby's i'm also very much way. struggling with the, the, uh, the joy con won't let me move left or right in any uh particular meaningful, meaningful way, way. <laughs> yeah uh, that is difficult. I can't, like, I can't down B right now. Oh, well. That's okay. I'll fix it for you. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he's got me. I got your back, dude. Now, I'm surprised Ryan, I made it to the top three, three, not being able to move left or All right. All right, the game is afoot, Riles. Now, now I get to not land a hit on Jay for the, the foot next. is a game. Unless he falls. That'd be awesome. He still has another life. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I self-killed, I think, twice with with ice climbers by just not realizing that I need to follow the blue one, not the pink one. Oh yes, ah. just the blue. The pink one's just there for fun. I mean, playing Smart. with five people on maps like this is head dick. Just a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in 
pressed if Riles can get another kill off on, on Jay before the end. He's at 136, I mean. Uh-huh. Um, so one good hit right now will do it. Yeah! yeah. Like that. Yeah. Boom. There we go. Look at that this timing. Is, this is Take perfectly, I mean, it's not go. that. That's oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Recovery on old. Okay. Um, is that, who's that guy? Simon? Boom, boom. Boom. Well done, sort of. Eight. Hey. Richter. Richter. That is a good name. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, Saturday, Monday for tuning in. Yeah, thank yes. you for joining us today. Uh, if you're curious about seeing more content like this, uh, this uh, we upload a bonus gaming video every Saturday for patrons at the five dollar tier. Is that right? Yes. I think. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see uh, us just chat and you want to ask us questions and play Smash. Uh, yeah, head over to uh, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Oh, Ooh, and leave questions in the, the comments of this uh, video, and yes. maybe we will answer them. Yeah. There you go. Otherwise, guys, until next time. Bye. bye.